Now that you've seen how to make fractions on a number line, let's give it some practice. So we're gonna practice making fractions on number lines today using a pipe cleaner and two different types of beads. The regular beads are going to be our fractions and the star beads are going to be our whole numbers. I have zero, one, and two here because we're gonna go above one in a little bit. So if I were to ask you how to show one half on a number line, you'd have to think to yourself, okay, one half, what do I know about it? The denominator two means I'm going to break it into two equal pieces. So let's work on breaking this into two equal pieces. I'm gonna start with my zero bead. I'm gonna take one regular bead. That should break it into two pieces and I'm gonna end with my one bead, my one whole number. I'm gonna move my tick mark until I find that it's between the zero and the one and I have two equal parts, which I would say I have about two equal parts right there. And now I can trace my number line. And I can put a tick mark at each bead, labeling each bead zero, my holes first, and one. And if that's the first out of two parts, I would label it as one half. And I can easily put a little dot there if I have to find on the number line. You've now found one half on the number line. Let's give it a, a try and do another one. So let's say I gave you the problem and I wanted to find three fourths on a number line. Well, I would take off my whole bead, add more beads to this to break it into four equal parts. So I'm gonna add two more beads to make, break it into four equal parts. And finish with my one bead. If I can get it on there, there you go. All right, now right now I don't have equal parts, so I have to move the beads until I have about four equal parts. One, two, three, four. Okay, I have four equal parts trace my number line, put my tick marks at each bead, label my holes, zero and one, and if this is the first out of four parts, it would be one-fourth. If this is the second out of four parts, it would be two-fourths. If this is the third out of three parts, uh, I'm sorry, third out of four parts, it would be three-fourths. If I wanted to find three-fourths, I'd put a quick point there. Now you've known how to make fractions between zero and one, but let's actually challenge ourselves and go above one whole. So let's say I wanted to show you a fraction and I, want, I wanted you to find me where I can find the fraction three halves. Ooh, three halves, my denominator is two, breaking my pieces into two parts. I need one B to do that. Then I'm going to, I'm really going to split right now between zero and one into two parts. Then I'm going to extend it by putting another bead and breaking one to two into two equal parts. Making one half, another half between my two holes. One half, another half between my two holes. So let me draw my number line putting a tick mark at each bead, labeling my holes. Now between zero and one, if I'm looking at two equal parts, the first part would be one half. I could also label the number one as being the second out of two parts or two halves. Keep going now, if one, two, three, that would be three equal parts out of split into two halves, and even I can turn two into a different fraction, that would be four out of two parts, four halves. And if I wanted to find three halves, I'd put a quick point at three halves. Let's give one more try here. Let's take one more try at this. Let's say I wanted to find where five thirds were on the number line. Take my number line, start with zero, if I want to break my number uh, my, in between my holes into three equal parts, I'd only need two beads between my holes to do that. One, two, put my one bead on, and then I need another two beads. One, two, and then I put my second hole number on there. Now here I don't have exactly thirds because they're not equal pieces, so I have to move the beads until I make them into equal pieces. 
between one and two, and I would say one, two, three equal pieces, one, two, three equal pieces. Perfect. Trace it on the number line. Place my tick marks. Write my whole numbers, one and two. Now I can start counting by thirds. The first tick mark would be one third. After the second tick mark, it would be two thirds. At one, I can also count this as three thirds. Keep it going. After that would be four thirds, five thirds, and I can finish it by even writing underneath two. It would be six thirds. Finding five thirds on the number line, put a little point. Now you've learned how to uh, put fractions on a number line. So now it's your turn to give it some practice. Make sure you get all your materials and start practicing making fractions on a number line using your pipe cleaners and beads. Thanks.